What's up guys, this is Norman83 and today I'm going to be doing a video on my new Airsoft ACU loadout which is uh, right here. So uh, I just finished this loadout yesterday and I've been working on it since early January and I just got my vest in yesterday and uh, some other things as well and so uh, Let's, uh, let's just go over it. So first I want to show you my guns. Uh, this is my primary. It's a Saima CMO 28C AK-47. It has a collapsible stock. That's what makes it different from all the other AKs. And uh, on it I have an AIM 1x30 red dot sight and a Magpul angled foregrip and it feels really nice and uh, this red dot side is actually pretty cheap so that's why I went with it, it works pretty well too so there and my backup is a Bravo three burst shotgun with a full stock um, this is uh, the gun I just got yesterday and um, it's uh, it's a spring gun, but it actually works really well. It shoots pretty far too, so um, I actually really like this. I didn't get to use it yet in a game, but I will in a little bit. And then my sidearm, I have a KJW M1911, and I believe this is the a. Uh, KP08 model and uh, I haven't got to use this either because uh, I don't have any gas for it but I'm going to go pick that up today and the uh, the mag is actually pretty heavy because it runs on green gas but you know what actually I'll just put that right back in my holster and um I know I already showed off my sniper in my first loadout video, which was really bad, but um, I'll just show it off again. It is. This is AL-96 with an uh, NC Star 3x9x40 scope, I think it is. It's a Bravo MK-98. It's really nice. I really like it. I do have some problems looking out the scope, though, with this mask on. So I'll have to fix that sometime in the near future. So uh, let's get on to uh, what I'm wearing. We'll go with the head down. This is a snowboarding helmet actually. I just have an uh, ACU helmet cover on it. And uh, these are ESC goggles I think. These are some of the best goggles you can get. And finally I have a uh, half uh, mesh metal face mask. And uh, actually, I think this is the first time you actually see my face, so uh, this is what I look like, I guess. Huh. So uh, going right along is uh, I have a Condor OE Tech Elite Tactical Vest. And it has six mag pouches, uh, four in the front and two here on the sides, which is really nice. I only have two extra AK mags, plus another one that I'm going to pick up today as well. And um, you have one utility pouch here for tools and such, and another one here, which is where I'm going to put my extra shotgun shells. I'm also going to pick those up today as well. And uh, the vest actually comes with this uh, tactical belt, which is uh, really nice. And uh, I have a Condor OE Tech again uh, dump pouch, where I put all my spent magazines. And on the right here of my leg, I have a Condor OE Tech Elite again. This is a uh, quick draw holster. This is where I put my 1911. I don't have an extra mag for my 1911 yet, so 
I just put a speed loader in there just in case I run out of BBs on the field. And then I don't know if you can see, but uh, I have knee pads. They don't actually have a brand. I just picked them up at my Airsoft retailer or my Airsoft store, and um, but they go well with my camo. And then for the uniform, this is, I actually can't remember who makes this, but it is a Army Combat Uniform, which is actually what ACU stands for, and I think, um, I don't know, but I got this off Airsoft Megastore. If you just type in ACU Uniform, uh, this will show up. It's, it comes with both the, uh, the jacket and the pants, which is really nice, and it was just $30, which is really affordable. And I also have a patch for, uh, this is a Cool Stuff Airsoft patch, which is my, uh, Airsoft store. And I plan to get a, uh, patch over here on this side for my actual arena that I play at. It's an indoor airsoft arena. And I have, uh, mechanics gloves here, which don't really protect your hands, but they're better than nothing. I should probably get some, um... Some armored gloves soon, which my friend has. But so another thing I wanted to tell you was uh, I'm going to the Tim versus Bob 4.5 this Sunday on March 17th. And uh, before I actually get into that, I want before I get into that, I forgot one thing. This is the scabbard for my shotgun. I can't believe I forgot this, but, um, my shotgun just fits right in here. Let me get it here for a second. And you just push that right in. And it is actually pretty hard to get in and out, especially if it's on your back like I most of the time have it. We'll have it because I didn't use it yet, but... And then there's that strap that just goes across the handle. You put it on your back if you want. Just like that. It's kind of weird though. Oh well. Oh, but anyway, going back to the Tim versus Bob. Um, I'm going with Caden and uh, my other friend Charlie, who doesn't have a YouTube account. And uh, Caden already has his loadout set up, and I'll put a link to that Cool Kids channel right down in the description. But we're going, and uh, we're going to the Sunday event, not the Saturday one. And uh, I'm not going to be wearing this because I actually want to be on Bob's team. And, uh, Caden and Charlie both have desert cameras, so I'm gonna have to go civilian for this one. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. So, uh, I guess thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my ACU loadouts. There aren't too many of them on YouTube, actually. I haven't seen too many. I've just seen a couple. But this one's mine. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And uh, as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.